Hello everyone, welcome back to Masa Military. Japan's helicopter destroyer, Kaga, has completed its carrier conversion and recently started sea trials. It is expected to arrive on the US East Coast next year to undergo a series of F-35B installation tests. The two Izumo-class carriers, the Kaga and the Izumo, have been converted into light aircraft carriers, and so the Japanese Navy has re-entered the era of aircraft carriers. Today, let's discuss the Kaga light carrier and compare it with China's Shandong carrier. Compared to its pre-conversion state, the front end of Kaga's flight deck has been changed from a trapezoid to a neat rectangle to increase the runway distance for F-35B and reduce turbulence, meeting the takeoff requirements of the F-35B in fully loaded conditions. Additionally, the fighter vertical landing area in the middle and rear of the deck have been reinforced with high temperature resistant materials ensuring the ability to withstand the high temperature airflow from F-35B engines. New takeoff and landing markings have also been painted, giving it a resemblance to the US Navy's amphibious assault ship. Kaga is the second ship of the Izumo-class helicopter destroyers, commissioned in February of 2017. The Izumo-class is the second generation of helicopter carriers for Japan, with a length of 814 feet a width of 125 feet and a standard displacement of 19,500 tons and a full load displacement of 27,000 tons. It is equipped with four General Electric LM2500 gas turbine engines, providing a maximum speed of 30 knots. In December of 2018, the Japanese government revised its defense plan confirming the purchase of 42 US F-35B fighters and the carrier conversion of two Izumo-class helicopter destroyers. From the initial design of the Izumo-class as helicopter destroyers, considerations for future conversion into light aircraft carriers were made. Therefore, the design of the hangar, elevators, fuel supply, and ammunition transport was based on the US amphibious assault ship. This saved time and money for the later carrier conversion. The conversion of Kaga took only one year, with the main work focused on the flight deck and aircraft hangar, while the side elevators did not require modification due to prior consideration of the dimensions and weight of the F-35B. After the conversion, Kaga looks similar to the US Navy's America-class amphibious assault ship, with a straight flight deck on the left side and a maintenance area on the right side. A starboard elevator at the rear of the deck is used for launching and recovering F-35B fighter jets and MV-22B Osprey tilt rotor aircraft. Below the deck is an enclosed hangar for storing aircraft and conducting routine maintenance. The number of vertical landing points on the flight deck has increased from 5 to 6. In November 2021, the F-35B conducted vertical landing and short takeoff tests on the Azumo, validating the aircraft's normal use on the Azumo class. With growing strength of the Chinese Navy and its assertive behavior, the possibility of maritime conflicts between Japan and China is increasing. So, how does the post-conversion Kaga compare in combat capabilities with China's main carriers, the Shandong and Liaoning? First, let's talk about aircraft capacity. Shandong has a full load displacement of 70,000 tons, with a claimed aircraft capacity of 44, including 32 J-15 fighters, 8 Z-18 helicopters, and 4 Z-9 helicopters. However, the actual number of J-15s seen on board is generally less than 20. Kaga's full load displacement is 27,000 tons, and it can carry 28 aircraft, including 12 F-35B fighter jets, 8 MV-22B Osprey tilt rotor aircrafts, and 8 MH-60R anti-submarine search and rescue helicopters. If there is a need to enhance air combat capability, the 8 MV-22Bs could be replaced with F-35Bs, allowing Kaga to carry 20 F-35Bs. Kaga's displacement is only about one-third of Shandong's, but the number of aircraft it can carry is half, demonstrating the higher space utilization of the modern design of Kaga. Next, let's look at the performance of the carrier-based aircraft. 
the F-35B and the J-15 fighters are not on the same level. The F-35B is an advanced fifth generation fighter with excellent stealth design and long range strike capability. One of its strengths is the ability to share situational awareness on the battlefield, relying not only on its own sensors but also on the shared information from allied aircraft and surveillance aircraft. During an attack, the F-35B does not need to lock onto a target. Allied aircraft can send target data to the missile. The J-15 is still in the fourth generation category, with a significant gap compared to the F-35B. Although the latest improved versions of the J-15 have been equipped with active electronically scanned array, AESA radar, its radar cross-section is large, and infrared characteristics are prominent. It can be targeted and attacked by the opponent before even spotting the F-35, showing a significant difference in operational effectiveness. At this point, there is no need to discuss physical performance such as payload and dogfight maneuverability. Now, let's compare long-range early warning capabilities. Both carriers lack fixed-wing early warning aircraft, but the Shandong has the Z-18 airborne early warning helicopters. However, their performance can only be considered lackluster, but better than nothing, and their range and endurance are very limited. Although the Japanese carrier does not have early warning aircraft, Japan and the United States have an intelligence sharing mechanism. The US and Japan can instantly share information from unmanned reconnaissance aircraft and early warning aircraft, providing an advantage for the Japanese carrier. Shandong lacks this kind of resource. It can only rely on its helicopters and fleet radar systems, while real-time information sharing for the fleet's radar might not be achievable. The gap in information warfare capabilities for the Chinese Navy is evident. Next, let's talk about the power system. Kaga has four gas turbine engines providing quick startup, fast acceleration, and good maneuverability. On the other hand, the Liaoning and Shandong use steam turbine engines with four steam turbine engines and eight boilers. The startup time is very long, requiring 48 hours to boil the cold water. Thus, there is a stark difference in the acceleration performance. The Chinese carrier's startup duration from cruising speed to full speed is a lengthy one. In terms of logistics, resupply for Kaga should be easier because its power is gas turbines, using aviation kerosene identical to the fuel used by the aircraft that it carries. Kaga only needs to be supplied with one type of fuel greatly reducing the complexity of logistical resupply. Whether it is Liaoning or Shandong, they need to replenish heavy oil for propulsion boilers, diesel for power generation, and aviation kerosene for carrier-based aircraft. The logistics for resupplying is more complex. Moreover, Shandong has a crew of around 3,000, and the Chinese place a strong emphasis on food. There are 7 meal times a day, with daily food consumption exceeding 11 tons. Kaga has a crew of only 520, and Japanese meals are relatively simple. I couldn't find how many times they have meals a day, but Kaga's food consumption should be far less than Shandong's, possibly only about a tenth or even less, significantly reducing the quantity of food supplies. Finally, let's talk about training and joint operations. Currently, Shandong's long-distance training mostly takes place in spring and autumn. China's ally, Russia, has a carrier but has been in shipyard repairs and has become the king of the shipyard. As a result, there have been no joint exercises involving both Chinese and Russian aircraft carriers. Whether it's the Liaoning or the Shandong, they can only train with their own fleets, appearing isolated. In the future, if a maritime conflict occurs, Russia's naval strength is too weak to be of much help, and China can only rely on itself. The Kaga, due to its major modifications, cannot go to sea, so Izumo frequently sails far and participates in joint exercises with allied forces, gaining extensive experience in joint operations. Here are a few examples. Izumo participated in the joint military exercise held in the Philippine Sea in November, joint exercises in the South China Sea with the US and Australia in August, a four-country joint exercise with the US, Japan, Australia, and the Philippines, followed by a visit to Manila. In June, Izumo participated in the joint exercise in the Philippine Sea with Japan, France, uh, the US, and Australia, and then visited Cam Ranh Bay in Vietnam, and many more. 
The frequent long-distance exercises of Izumo demonstrate its high reliability and good seaworthiness, and high training level. I believe that after its carrier conversion, the Kaga may also be frequently deployed, becoming a star carrier in the future. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support Masa Military. See you next time!